All right. So <clears throat> before I get to the article, I'm going to address something. This, I've got an interesting setup here. I got stacked on two bottles of protein powder and about 10 metal albums. <laughs> it's, it's pretty interesting. I don't have an actual stand for this, so i got to rely on that. Oh, and also uh, the lights filtering in through my shades. It's early in the morning. There's no real way around that. I'm not going to block it off with some more sheets, so just got to deal with that. Um, I'm going to talk about this article, though. It's... Uh, See, the title is uh, Mosques Ban Muslim Women from Wearing Trousers. Trousers are pants, I believe. Yeah, they're pants. Uh, leaving the house without their husband's permission and order them to close Facebook accounts. Facebook is cancer, so it's okay. But, um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, they're calling Facebook a sin and an evil. Let's look into the article itself. So, it says a Muslim woman should not wear trousers, leave the house without their husband's permission, or use Facebook according to controversial rules published by British mosques. So, what's actually happening is, I skimmed over the article a little bit before making the video. Uh, there was some article published uh, and sent out through all these British mosques uh, telling them basically what I just said, you know, trousers, you know, women shouldn't wear them, Facebook is evil, and don't leave the house without your husband's permission. And now everyone's in an uproar, obviously, because that's fucking crazy in Britain. And let's see here. So the controversial ruling was published this week by a Blackburn Muslim Association affiliate member of the MCB Muslim Council Britain, I think. I don't know. Telling women they should not travel more than 48 miles with a male chaperone. 48 miles isn't bad, like, that's not, it's pretty far actually. It's, you can get anywhere in 48 miles, it's not bad, but, you know, you still gotta get permission to leave. And husband's not gonna give you permission to leave. Your woman, you stay in the house. That's how Islam works. A document written by a mufti? <laughs> at the Croydon Mosque in Islamic Center, entitled advice for the husband and wife, also stated, a woman should seek her husband's permission when leaving the house and should not do so without his knowledge. Yeah, it's a sin. You can't do that. Come on. In another article, the mosque calls abortion a great sin. I consider abortion immoral, but, you know, it's legal. What am I going to do? It's your choice. I'm just going to give you a little sneer if you do it. And describes acting and modeling as immoral acts. I don't understand that one. I mean, modeling maybe because you're taking off those fashion disasters and showing off your body, but acting, I mean, you can still still act, be on camera. I'm sure there's no nothing in the Quran about that. Uh, moderate Muslims and ex anti-extremism campaigners have slammed the statements as disgraceful. And outdated and patriarchal, according to the Times, which is uh, which is true. That's that's right. I, I can't really argue with that. That's completely correct. Uh, it's the definition of patriarchal, actually, uh, having any control over women or children or finances. Uh, you know, solely as a man. That's it's the definition of of a patriarchy. Uh, campaigners called the Muslim Council of Britain, I got that one right, an umbrella body that represents hundreds of mosques, bodies, and schools, uh, to order its affiliates, affiliated institutions to delete online advice, restrict women's freedom. So, like I said, uh, they're sending, this uh, organization, the MCB, is sending out uh, this information to all the mosques, telling them they should be doing this. And, you know, these campaigners are saying, like, you guys should just delete all this information. It's crap. Get rid of it. Uh, an article entitled Dangers of Facebook was published. Dangers of Facebook, that whole section is just saying what it already said. It's just repeating the same crap. It's, uh, you know, Facebook is evil. It leads women to cheat and show off details of their body and things like that. 
Uh, and it says here, it's quoting uh, quoting the article MCB uh, posted. The ones who wear trousers are men, and the prophet cursed women who imitate men. So, men have to wear the pants, the way things are. <laughs> and uh, that's interesting. None of the organizations respond to the Times' request for comment. So, they didn't give a shit. They're just going to keep this up. That's just the way it is. And you can't really. Uh, Blame them. I mean, they, they want Sharia law. This sounds a lot like Sharia law, and they're just going to keep pushing it until it happens or there's a big revolt and it gets completely shut down. I'm gonna, I can go through the rest of the article. Uh, basically, at the end, just states uh, it's quoting something that someone said uh, rulings that belong to different historical periods and cultural settings get superseded. We encourage affiliates to actively consider this. It also talks about, uh, it, it says uh, things from a certain time period are, are outdated and kind of off the cuff says, you know, certain cultural ideas are outdated, really, because that's what it is. These people aren't coming out of the 1500s and going, it, you know, it's not through a time machine. They're they're from a different culture. They're coming from the Middle East. They're not. That's how they act in the Middle East. The Sharia law is rampant over there. Right, for some reason, the rest of the video cut out right there. That's okay. It's the end of the video, anyways. So yeah, Sharia law is pretty rampant in the Middle East. It's there are still quite a few areas that have that practice Sharia law. I believe uh, Turkey does. I may be wrong, but definitely. Uh, Pakistan, Iraq. Fuck, I better look that up. <laughs> I'm gonna only get somebody going, yeah, it's not what they do. There's a Middle East. There's... There's Sharia law. Uh, Sharia law practice, uh, Egypt, Sudan, Afghanistan, Iraq, okay, Pakistan, uh, yeah, Nigeria. So I was right about Iraq and Afghanistan. They do practice Sharia law, but I don't think Turkey does. I think Turkey is, uh, got condemned for trying to practice Sharia law, and now they don't. I think that's that's where I was confused. There was something about Sharia law in Turkey. I don't think they do it anymore. Um, but yeah, I was right about Iraq and Afghanistan, quite a few other countries in the Middle East that practice Sharia law. And Nigeria, which is North Africa, I believe. Anyways, yeah, there's, but that, it's a culture thing. They're, uh, they're coming over to the West, and it's a, it's a pretty strong culture. That's what they believe this would have been raised in, and they're going to keep practicing that unless they're told otherwise. Unless they're told, look, you can't do that over here. It's outdated, and it's too different from our own culture, and certain things can stay, and certain things can't. It's there are numerous examples of several different cultures coming over to the West and having to change things uh, because they were immoral or wrong over here. It's like you know, certain values are good. Like in Asian culture, uh, you see a lot of honor and respect and hard work ethic. And that's a strong part of a lot of area, a lot of Asian culture, and that's why they go on to become doctors and engineers. And it's part of their culture. Uh, there's certain small areas that they don't bring over here, like you know, eating certain animals, like dogs and cats, and from China. Now Chinese don't bring that over here because they know, like, oh, we frown upon that kind of thing. But their actual values of honor, and respect, and strong work ethic they flourish over here when they bring that over and that's a that's a good value we don't frown upon that because that's that's those are foundations of success in the west and we, we actually kind of need more of that over here so it's a good value you want to keep that but you want to you know keep out the bad ones 
So there are aspects of culture that are good and bad, and the West is, I believe it's meant to be a, a culmination of all the good values and ridding itself of all the bad ones. So it's important that we keep doing that. And this is the first time in a long time we've had such a radically different culture uh, immigrate over to the West. And now we're facing that. We don't know how to handle it. So we haven't handled that in a long time. But we're just starting to handle it properly now. Uh, we've got these westernized Muslims who are condemning the hardline Islamic values and things that are frowned upon in the West. And I'm glad for that. That's good. We're making progress that way and we're starting to realize, look, certain cultural values in Islam just don't thrive in the West. We've got to keep those out. And this is one of them. And this article is one of many. I, I keep seeing these articles pop up from different things in my Facebook feed. And I just decided this was going to be the one where I finally do a video on. But though that's just what I think about the article, what I think about culture and values and the West and what I think about what's happening with the, this organization of mosques in Britain. Uh, this article was posted today on May 6, 2016. I'm going to be posting this video today, hopefully. So I don't put it off. I procrastinate a lot. And yeah, it was uh, posted on the Daily Mail uh, dot UK, so British, British site. And I'm going to be posting a link in the description so you can look at it yourself. That's all I have to say. And this has been Grieve Valor. Uh, thanks for watching and you have a good day.